That's kind of funny. All right, so hit five to go out to full screen on your page, and we use the three-dimensional box tool to drop a box. There it is. It's default colors. It's uh, at 19% opacity, you can see in the corner there. So by increasing that to 100%, we can see the full colors. So by clicking that box with the selection tool, and then going down and choosing a color, we can apply that color to all sides. What we're actually looking at is a collection of six shapes, six rectangles, that are put into perspective. And when you select that box uh, with a node tool, as we are here, you can then select individual elements within that cube, and you can change their properties. So when we go back to the three-dimensional tool and add another three-dimensional cube, you can see that we can play with the perspective by grabbing these nodes. That's kind of fun, right? We can make those corners larger. We can make the uh, perspective lines and the uh, element change their dimensions. And we can even see the top rectangle as we do here if we uh, change our dimensions enough with that box. With the node tool, again, we still have the ability to affect individual elements. By the selection tool, we are only able to select the entire uh, cube. But once we go to the uh, cube tool or the node tool, we can change elements of that three-dimensional cube, such as using the node tool, selecting a side, and then selecting a color to make it more believable. Maybe use a lighter tone. We can even apply a gradient, but we first uh, use the node tool in order to select the side that we want to apply the gradient to, and then we drag our gradient tool in order to reveal the dimensionality of that box. Uh, there are three more shapes underneath of those three shapes that we can see. So that can be very helpful if you're trying to make a box shape appear realistic very, very quickly. If you wanted to do a scene with a room or something like that, uh, the three-dimensional box tool in Inkscape is an easy way to do that. What you can't do is what you would do in something like Blender, where you could actually manipulate a three-dimensional environment. Uh, this is good really for fooling somebody into seeing a three-dimensional cube. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.